During the early 90s, DOS-based action platformers were a blast, including the Commander Keen series, and there's a new game called Rad Rogers that's trying to harken back to those days. But is this a retro romp that you want to take, or should this style of game just stay in the past? Rad Rogers is basically a combination of the original Commander Keen series and the original set of Duke Nukem games. What Rad Rogers ends up doing the best though is copying that kind of nostalgia. It very much feels like this game could just be kind of demade and would fit right at home on any early 90s DOS system. However, instead of relying on a 8-bit or retro look to the game, they went for a more modern feel, and the game is bright and colorful at moments, dark and murky at others, and overall is a very vibrant world. Of course, even with a nice presentation though, it's more about how does this game play, and it plays quite well. There's action, platforming, and plenty of firepower to help you destroy anything that moves. Some pretty enjoyable boss encounters, as well as overall challenging platforming puzzle elements as you explore each level, trying to find keys that you need to unlock certain areas, and four pieces of a medallion that you need to get in order to open up the exit at the end of each level. Because you're going to be looking for these four pieces, you have to scavenge around. It's very easy to get lost in certain levels, and you'll end up going through the same areas repeatedly till you finally find an opening or hallway you hadn't traveled to before, and then you end up running into that last piece you were trying to find. The game doesn't have any sort of indicator on where items are. You may see one through a wall, but of course have no idea how you're supposed to travel around the level and eventually get to that spot. I wish the game did include some sort of map system. That would have greatly helped, at least to help as far as where I've gone and where I haven't been yet, but of course as being a classic game, they didn't include one. Red's arsenal isn't necessarily huge, but the weapons are at least varied enough to change up the style of shooting you'll be doing from missile launchers, giant lasers, and miniguns. Along with Rad, you also have Dusty, who works kind of as your guide throughout the game. You also take the role of Dusty during these pixel world distortions you jump into. Here you'll have to kind of fly around a small maze-like structure, and eventually find either rocks to destroy or platforms that you can put back in their proper place so that you can continue on in the main level. The whole pixel vortex thing definitely adds more variety to the gameplay, but I feel like it ended up slowing things down and there's just way too many of them, so I ended up losing that momentum I was gaining through the really fun action and shooting. Each level is filled with collectibles and tons of secrets to keep an eye out for. There are bonus levels where you're on a pogo stick trying to bounce your way up a set of platforms. Obviously, the pogo stick very much reminiscent of the classic Commander Keen as well. The game also has a ton of humor thrown into it. There's even an option at the beginning of the game to switch it from kitty mode to adult mode so you get all the curse words, dirty jokes, and really dark humor from time to time. The game probably won't take you a ton of time to beat it if you play through it on easy, taking roughly 4-6 to six hours, but there are multiple difficulties, lessening the amount of lives you have at your disposal, easy mode you have unlimited lives, so it'll probably take you a bit to conquer those harder difficulties and find all the secrets and collectibles. From technical side of things, the game crashed on me on a couple of occasions, but there really wasn't any other major slowdowns or other glitches. Rad Rogers is available now on the PlayStation 4 for $19.99, and the game is also available on the Xbox One and PC. Overall, Rad Rogers is a great throwback, but honestly, if you didn't grow up with those games from the early 90s, you may not quite enjoy the game as much, but it's still a very solid 2.5D platform game. With everything said though, I'm going to be giving Rad Rogers a 7 out of 10. But anyway guys, it's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.